this is a video of how to put videos on the R4DS and uh, just put your micro SD into there for now don't do anything with it yet, you don't need to right, I've got some stuff on the internet bookmarked which I'll put in the description of the video uh, on the downloads page it's in the description I've put batch DPG which uh, if this computer would speed the hell up it's not actually Vista it just looks like it we've got some crap installed anyway you download both the files from here that's Avisynth and batch DPG you press that button at the bottom and uh, when you download them put them both into the same folder I put mine in one called batch DPG and they should look like that and like that and uh, double click on batch DPG and then it will ask you if you want to install it and uh, just press install down there mine's already been installed before but there's no way of avoiding this so what I do instead of reinstalling it and saying yes to all which takes longer just press no to all and it comes up with the same thing as when you first install it I'm just going to close that right you get this screen which is the converter itself here if you press browse you've got you find the video which you want to convert just delete them because they're not anything right find the video you want to convert just let me find one I'm going to put my first YouTube video on first one I ever made and that will come up in the top bar and where you want it to go is that button output directory uh, you press browse and then you can choose where you want it to go um, video you want FPS as auto the width has to be 256 but the height can be anything but I like to have it at 192 because that's the size of a DS screen bitrate should be left at 256 and the max 384 and then audio bitrate should be left as is and the sample rate and blah 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 when you've done all that press add and then press run and then down here in that box it'll start to say transcoding audio when that's done it'll say transcoding video and then it'll say multiplexing so I'll come back after that and uh, this video might not even work for the second time because I haven't saved it to my memory card and only the phone and when I tried to move it from the phone to the memory card it just disappeared which really pissed me off because it was seven minutes long anyway, there's the green bar it should come up like that with a percentage and I'll be back when it's done I don't really know what type of video that it converts I know that it converts WMV because this is a WMV it does AVIs and it will probably do most of the common ones it doesn't do phone videos which is 3GP um, but what I use is Total Video Converter you can download that off BitTorrent easily enough with a serial code or a crack or whatever you want to call it and then uh, you can pretty much convert anything into anything but mine's a piece of shit and it doesn't work like the rest of my computer so if you want to convert a 3GP video for the DS you have to convert it twice and Peter's talking to me yeah so he's saying while we, while we wait how many views has your R4 vid had then? enough anyway back after um back after this is converted it's onto the video now 99% and now it'll multiplex and then as soon as it does that everything just disappears and goes back to normal so then I'll close that and go to the video folder that I put as the output directory and then uh, it should be there 
just forgotten which video I've just converted. YouTube, that was it. So then, go to the micro SD, which on mine is removable disk G. And then uh, open it up. Go to wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put mine in videos. And uh, all the crap just comes up now. I'll delete that video because I don't need it. And then, basically, just drag and drop. And then it'll copy on. This is only a 10 megabyte video, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, then, take out the micro SD card. Put it in your R4DS. It's hard to do with a camera in your hand, I hate it. So I'm going to pause it. And put that in your DS. Which is also hard to do one handed, I find it. Open it up. And if you've got an R4DS, then it'll just come up like normal. This is my background. Me! And my girlfriend Abby. Right, you click the middle for multimedia. And then it'll come up with the quick warning sign thing. And then uh, I put mine in the folder video on my card, if you saw that on the computer. So you open up the folder with your videos in it. There's the Simpsons movie and YouTube.dpg. So you open that. And then this is actually on. YouTube as well. The sound and everything. And uh, you can skip through. If you move to the bottom screen and just click anywhere on it, then it skips through for you. This is just about my Japanese stuff anyway. So, there you go. If I didn't explain it properly, and it doesn't work, then I... I'm sorry, but I can't remember what I used to do because it was about five months ago when I put it on, when I put all my video stuff onto the computer. But there are loads of videos on YouTube anyway that tell you how to do things, so if mine's hard to follow, then just follow one of them. Uh, add me on MSN if you want all the files and stuff and you can't be asked downloading them, and I'll send you them. Hope I've helped you.